Okay, today uh, we are here in uh, uh, Bochum at the first venue of the Ronnie James Dio hologram show. Yes. And we are very happy to have Tim Ripper Owens here. Nice to be here. For asking some questions. Tim, um, the tour is starting now here. Um, and um, what do you think about a hologram show like this? Well, I mean, me as a fan of music, uh, you know, I wasn't positive, you know, real sure at first I wanted to you know see how it is but this is something groundbreaking and for me I would love to see a David Bowie one or I'd love to see uh, you know maybe not a whole night but like ACDC with like uh, four songs of Bon Scott you know just pe especially people I've never seen Elvis I'd love to see an Elvis one you know yeah. um, again not necessarily a whole concert I think the thing about this is I don't know why people are so upset about it they watch videos and they watch this this is something that Ronnie would like. You know, Ronnie was, we're all friends with Ronnie and we know the main thing, it's reason why it's doing this is Wendy, which she spent a fortune on this. So everybody's like, let's oh, just make money. No, she's lost a lot of money because she wants to please the fans. Yeah. She wants to please the fans. I don't, they're always like, well, you know, if Wendy Dio wants to make money, she would sit home and do nothing because she's got, you know, property and, you know, real estate. She, she loves the legacy of Ronnie. She loves, the, she's just like Ronnie. She loves to make the fans happy. She started doing this because she wanted to make the fans happy. Somebody came with the idea and she thought, you know, in her mind, fans would love it. Some of them don't. I understand it, you know. I think they're a little rude sometimes to things they say, but I think um, with me, the more I was, thinking about it and who I would like to actually see. I mean, if somebody said there is a David Bowie one or a Frank Zappa one, or, you yeah. know, if they, the last thing in my mind about the David Bowie one would be thinking, oh, somebody's making money off of this. Well, of course they are. Yeah. Everybody does. They yeah. do all this. You buy his record. You but, watch uh, You watch YouTube clips. People make money. Right. My thought is, wow, somebody's oh. actually... This is cool. That's all I think. I would just think this is kind of cool. I'd like to go check it out. But I, I think I see I see Ronnie last time in 2009 on the, one of the last Heaven and Hell show, yeah. uh, shows and talked to him. And I see him the first time in 84 yeah. on okay, a yeah. very big concert. And uh, I think, from, from, from my opinion, it is uh, a good way to show back when, yeah. you, when you have a, have a show like this. To, to, to make a little bit feeling of what was happened a long yes. time before. Well, it is. And you know what also we're It's his friends. It's a live band playing to this. It's something that's never been done. And we're still working out the kinks with it. This, these first run of shows, you know, it only gets better from here. This show tonight, we're going to see what happens. You know, because we're trying to figure... My part is easy. Only going to get up and sing with the band that we've always sang with the band. Yeah. But the band playing with Ronnie singing... It's pretty hard to do and to get it right, and they're still trying to get it. So we're still working on perfecting it. It's it's going to be some time, I still think, before it's going to be exactly what everybody wants. You know, you kind of it's it's never been done, you know, like this with a live band and and um, but yeah, I, I I get people thinking it might be weird, but I I don't get people not understanding the reason why it's done. I mean, I, to me, it's. Like I said, it's a no-brainer. Elvis Presley's doing one. The last thing I think of is somebody's making money off of that. I just think it's try people trying to make, have somebody go see Elvis. But I think why, why people got weird? They be, they become weird when they have the first computers. Now this is a could be that is a new era to, to to have shows like that. Well, it's weird. They'll play video games of probably you know they'll watch movies of stunt doubles who somebody who died, or they'll continue to watch these things, or they'll continue to do things with dead people not think anything of it they'll go to a wax museum and see yeah, yeah. a wax museum of somebody who's passed away but they'll think oh this is great well somebody's making money with that too I mean I know you think it's a tribute but it, it's just I don't know I, I, I don't get it um, I don't get the reason why they don't like let him rest well that the point is she's not even thinking of it that way she's still thinking of it as trying to have Ronnie make the fans happy. That's yeah. really what she talks about. That's all she thinks about is, everything she thinks about is trying to, what Ronnie would do to make the fans happy and trying to please his fans, you know? So we, we drive a long way to come here. 
Yeah, of course, we want to see it. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> and I want to talk about to all these guys who say to me, oh, you can do this. I want to, I want to give them an impression of what we see tonight. So we are happy that you are. Yeah, and you know, again, like I said, when you leave here, you know, you're seeing it first, and you know it's only going to be perfected even better as we go on. You know, we have a great light show. Actually, the stage is smaller. We're missing out on things. That's been some difficulties of trying to get us on off stage, and you know, it's not as big. It's I love this venue, though. I played it before, and I, I actually love this venue. But you know, we can't put both screens on the side where we have you know art and stuff. But this is the first show. And it only gets better from here, and it's kind of, you know, um, I think everybody's probably a little bit nervous tonight, you know, thinking, oh man, this, you know, I think they just, they know why we're doing it. I've never felt anything like I feel when I sing Ronnie, Ronnie's songs on stage. And even though it's not mine and I sing it my own way, I just, there's, you know, he was such a great guy, you know, and he loved his fans. And, you know, that's, everybody gets passionate about it. That was the last I see when I see in 2009. He was really not on a good mood, but he was absolutely high class on stage. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no. And I mean, I watched him when he first met me. He welcomed me in to everybody when I first joined Jewish Priest. And he's like, you know, you're one of us now. We became friends. Here's my phone number. And, yeah. you know, people, not everybody did that to me. You know, some people were like, get away. Where did you come from? And Ron was like, here's my phone number. Call me. You know? <laughs> Good. We are happy to, to, to have you here and we are happy that you have a little bit of your time for us. And uh, we hope we have a good show tonight. Yes, absolutely. And thank you. Thank you. <laughs>